Welcome back. This is part five where we are going to add some custom fonts. So in the last video, we set up scoring. As you can see here, we've got this uh, five and the zero. So when the ball uh, goes to the scoring zone on the left side here or the right side over there, you'll get a point. So there, six. So we're going to add a custom font to make this look a little bit nicer. So let's get started. Let's put myself here. All right. So now to use a custom font in Phaser, we need to load it. And we're going to use Google Fonts because they're free and you don't need any special tools. Bitmap fonts are another option, but you will need to get some tool to generate those fonts. We can cover that in a different video. If you're interested, let me know in the comments below. So first, let's go to fonts.google.com. And so Google has 986 fonts that you can use freely. So we want something that is more retro, that fits Pong. So there is a search in Google Fonts up here, but I don't actually ever know how to use it well. But I do know there is a font called Press Start 2P. So this looks pretty good. It's got this like blocky 8-bit style, or maybe less than 8 bits. So we need to, in order to use this font, we need to load it into Phaser. Now, in order to do that, we are going to use the Web Font Loader library, which let's Google that, Web Font Loader. So this is an open source uh, library that Google Typekit and others maintain it. I think it's just Google and Typekit. Yeah. So it handles loading the fonts for you from various font services, Google Fonts being one of them. And so we have a tutorial on Arcade for doing exactly this. And so we're just gonna go take a look at that. Now I rarely remember how to do anything. It's a good thing that I write it down and I can refer back to it. So here we go. All right. So there is a web font file. So we're going to use Phaser's font uh, uh, a file loading system to load these fonts. So you see we here we extend phaser.loader.file. So we will just actually copy this web font loader. I mean, the, it's totally, you don't need to rewrite this. You could if you want, but it'll just do what you need. So let's first start. We're going to cancel our game. And then we're going to install Web Font Loader by NPM. Now you could also include it like this, um, but we're just going to install it by NPM instead. So there's CDNs that you can get Web Font Loader from. So now the NPM install, what is the name? NPM install, right, NPM install Web Font Loader right here. So we're going to go here, npm install web font loader. So now it's going to download and install the web font loader package. Great. And then we can use it. So you see here, we're importing web font loader from web font loader. Now this article um, has a more advanced version of the web font loader a web font file class that we made here so you can you can read this article if you'd like uh, to understand why we're using why we have this other web font file class but since we're not doing anything special we're just going to take this way simpler shorter version so let's just take this class we're going to put this into our project let's put it for this case we're just going to put it into our scenes folder we can rearrange it later. So web font file dot js paste. So here it is. We have web font loader. We have phaser. That looks good. So this is more a JS doc so that we can know what loader is supposed to be, what font names is supposed to be, and what service is supposed to be. So it's a string, a string or an array of strings, and the phaser loader plugin. So this class should just work. So we'll save that. Now we'll go back to our game scene. So now let's import our web font file. So import web font file from web 
font file. Great. So now we've had this preload here, but we have not used it yet. So we're going to use it now. So we always want to make sure that our font is loaded before we use it, otherwise it will not render correctly. So let's make, we'll call this fonts, a new web font file. Now we take a, a phaser.loader.loader .loader plugin, so which is going to be this.load, right? You can see that this.load is a phaser.loader .loader plugin. Now the font names we're going to use is press start to p press start to p and the service will be google so we can just leave that so we don't need to specify the service because by default this uh, this code already says it's google so now we have that now we need to actually load it so we do this dot load dot load dot existing no, dot file, dot add file. That's what I'm looking for, right? Which takes a phaser.loader.file, which is what web font file inherits from. So see, it extends phaser.loader.file. So there we have that. Now let's just do it and make sure we have no errors. So npm run start. So now, because we had stopped and we're going to restart parcel, we will have to refresh the page. It will not automatically reload it for us, usually at least. So we're going to reload. All right, so there's no errors. So theoretically, it should have loaded the fonts. Well, let's just give it a test. So let's see, we added our score right here. So score style, font size. So the key we want is font family. So these keys are CSS properties. And so font family is a CSS property. At least I think. Actually, I could be telling you wrong information. But this, these are called font styles, I believe. Text, text style. Text style. And so text style, so these are all the options for text style. I think they closely match CSS, but may not be exact. But font size, so font family is what we want. And in font family, if I remember correctly, if there is, if your font has a space in it, like this, you need to um, use quotes. So you see there is the single quote, then the double quote. Um, that's just what Phaser needs to load this correctly. So press start to P. So that's our font family. Let's save that and see if our fonts change. And look at that. These are much better old school looking fonts. Let's see what one looks like. Boom. Look at that. Much, much nicer. So you can load any font you want here. If you don't like Press Start 2P, you can go to Google Fonts and find any other font you want. So I will link to this article in the show notes. And so our game is coming along. Uh, come back for the next video where we're gonna add a game background.